How far can you push Vanilla Revit? Back in 2022 I challenged myself. Could I recreate a complex bionic form, using only native Revit tools? No Dynamo, no custom families, just in-place forms, lens, void, logic. The goal wasn't to match the design exactly. It was to explore how far Revit's core tools could go, before switching to code or external scripts. This exploded view you see here. Every module was built directly in Revit, with only native modeling tools, and a mindset of clarity. It became more than a form study. It turned into a system for thinking. Because in real projects, especially when mentoring teams, it's not just how we model. It's when to go fast and when to formalize. This experiment sparked bigger questions like, how do we train teams to think ahead in Revit? Let's go deeper. Into start models, visual clarity, and human-centered BIM. After that initial challenge, I wanted to build more than a shape. I wanted to show a workflow, clean, teachable, and based on Revit's native structure. I began with a start model. It's a stripped-down template I use for early-stage ideas. Levels are preset, a few reference views, some graphic styles, nothing more. This gives just enough structure without overcomplicating things too early. From there I used in-place masses. Each module began as a basic blend, a trunk-like profile stretching upward. The trick was keeping geometry simple, yet expressive. To refine the shape, I used void cuts to open up the form, then copied and rotated modules around the base. No families, no parameters, just direct modeling, fast and visual. To prepare the exploded view, I grouped modules and pulled them out manually. Each position was controlled to keep alignment clear. Then I added detail lines to guide the eye. Revit's dashed model lines did the job. The result was not just a form but a diagram, something you could show to students or teams to explain logic, modularity, and assembly. And this brings me to a key point. Recently, I've been part of conversations on Autodesk forums about team training and design strategy. One topic stood out. Handling design options in Revit. One file or many. And that ties directly to this workflow. Too often, teams jump into adaptive components and complex options too soon without understanding why. Other times, everything gets crammed into a single file with a hundred design options, and clarity is lost. But design isn't linear. There are stages. There's back and forth with clients. There's uncertainty. That's why I believe Revit training should include understanding the design process, not just the tools, knowing when to model fast and when to slow down, and giving teams the confidence to adapt the software not just follow rigid BM rules. This project was my way of demonstrating that. Simple file, clear steps, and logic that anyone can follow. If you want to download the Revit model, you can get it by becoming a patron on my Patreon page. Just choose the Z-inspired tier, or grab it as a one-time purchase in my Patreon magazine. All links are in the description below this video. If you found this useful, hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe for more practical Revit workflows. Appreciate your support. And see you in the next videos. Your architect by voice. Katarina.